Demoiselle is a character that was definitely one of the most interesting things about the second season of Foundation. The mystery, the commitment, the evil nature that it felt that she had, and also the performance from Laura Byrne. So now that season two of the show has concluded, I thought I'd take a look at the character and explain why I feel she was such a great inclusion to the show and touch upon the history and the situation that she was in when the show finished. So let's get into it. Here is why Demacel was the best thing about Foundation Season 2. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The contrast in the character. One of the things that stood out most about Demacel was the contrast that we saw in the character at the end of the show when compared to the beginning. This is obviously because we weren't aware of her past and we had the massive revelation that occurred at the end where we saw her backstory and how she came to be working for Empire. Well, actually being Empire. I was never really a large fan of the character throughout the early parts of the show, and there was something about her which I just couldn't quite connect with, most likely because she was a robot and she quite literally showed no emotion and was prepared to serve Empire no matter what, even if it meant causing mass devastation and having a hand in it. However, as we drew closer to the season finale, we saw a side to the character that we'd never seen before, and she went from being an individual that came across as a brutal killer to one that was a prisoner inside of her own body and wasn't able to do as she pleased, something which I never expected. The emotion that was on Demoiselle's face when we saw her being released from the chamber after being there for thousands of years, and also the emotion that was present when she was telling Brother Dusk and Enjoyna Rue about just how trapped she felt even now that she'd been out of the chamber for hundreds of years was something that I found extremely powerful, and it changed the dynamic of the character forever. She wasn't this evil robot that was standing by Empire. She was an innocent robot that had programming put inside of her by Cleon the First against her will, which meant that she couldn't think, act, or be how she wanted, leading her to wonder if her own thoughts were actually her own. She was stuck being forced to serve Empire and made to ensure that the Cleonic dynasty would never be threatened and new versions would be decanted when needed. She didn't know if her thoughts were her own, and once it was revealed, you could see that it was something that was going through her mind most of the time, especially the moments where she'd be on her own. For example, there was this shot of Terminus being destroyed after Brother Day caused the Invictus to go crashing into it in Episode 9 of Season 2, and now knowing what she felt inside of her head about the entrapment that was present, and the fact that she wanted no hand in any of it, you could really feel the pain that was in her eyes as she looked on at Terminus being reduced to flames and ashes. She didn't want this, and her eyes did all the talking in that scene. However, the programming inside of her forced her to be alongside it and to be an accomplice to the Cleonic Dynasty's deadly hand. The conflict in her mind is something which I thought was an incredible inclusion, and only towards the end of the season did we see just how much she didn't enjoy the life that she was leading. She was suffering herself, and we saw true emotion and pain. The yearning for her own freedom was something which I truly felt and I wanted it for her. Everything was out of her control and the development of this character was something which was far greater than any other character in the entirety of the show. What also made it more heartbreaking to watch was that if Demoiselle had acted and killed Cleon the moment that she saw him when she was released from the chamber hundreds of years ago, none of what we're seeing now would be happening and she would have been able to have been free from the hold that she now had on her. So for me, the contrast in the character, the development of her, and after now knowing her backstory and how she came to be a victim of not only the War of the Robots versus the Humans, previous Emperors, but mostly Cleon the First, it allowed me to sympathize with her and actually feel something towards the character, something which I'd never been able to do before. So it definitely contributed to one of the main reasons as to why she was one of the best things in the show. The performance from Laura Byrne. Laura Byrne delivered an astonishing performance of Demacel in season two of the show. It's almost as if she had to deliver two versions of the character, one which was rigid and was similar to how we'd previously seen her, and another which expressed innocence, emotion, and the feeling of living a life that one didn't want. So I think the fact that we saw two different sides to the character was a skill that was extremely impressive. Due to the fact that Demacel was a robot and her tone of voice was something that would never really change, that meant that a lot of the emotion that we saw from the character came from her facial expressions and her behavior, which meant that a lot of it was delivered from a visual perspective, rather than a visual and audible, something which one would imagine would be more difficult to do, especially when trying to convey suffering and pain. 
However, it really suited the issues that the character was facing due to the fact that it made it feel even more painful and it felt like a tougher position that the character was in. The fact that it was all in the eyes and the facial expression really honed in on that entrapment so Laura Byrne did an outstanding job at conveying that. I can't imagine anybody else delivering this role, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the character is going to be in Season 3 of the show. The mystery that's still present. Even after the season finale, where we thought that we found out as much about the character as we possibly could, and there'd most likely be no more secrets that would be present, it turned out that the show was still keeping so much from us with regards to Damacell. The fact that she had the Prime Radiance and it concluded with her saying that she saw that there were wonderful things that lied ahead in the future and that she'd be looking to learn more about the Prime Radiance and how to read it, whilst taking Selden's advice and looking to invent a better future by acting in the present. There's so much importance that's put on this character's shoulders and it just adds to the beautiful mystery that makes up the programming of Damacell. Will she find a way to break free from the grasp of Empire and the programming that Cleon put in her? Or is she destined to fall when Empire eventually does, and the Cleonic Dynasty comes to an end? Before, I wouldn't have cared. But now, I want her to get her freedom as much as she wants it. And that's what I think is incredible about this character. The show managed to change mine and I imagine many other viewers' perception of her, and made us go from not really caring about her, to having us all rooting for her and the freedom that she so desperately desired. Whilst there are many good things about the second season of Foundation, Damacell stole the show towards the end of the season, and I can't look past her being the best thing in the entirety of it. Without her inclusion, the performance that Laura Byrne gave, and the way that the character was written, I think the show becomes far less enjoyable. So I hope that the character is just as complex in the next season of the show, and that the importance will still be there. I feel like it will, because she's essentially become one of the most important characters in the entirety of the show. She is Empire, and she will always be there as she always has. I've been covering the entirety of Season 2 of Foundation and breaking down every episode over on the channel, so if you want to see more videos on the show, then head over there. So, there you have it. Why Damacell was the best thing about Foundation Season 2. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think of the character? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.